Uh, hey everyone, it's Sean from GoPart.com. <clears throat> Today we're uh, changing the side marker light of a 1996 uh, Toyota 4Runner. Um, very, very simple uh, procedure. Um, you know, th these tend to get uh, damaged just through normal wear and tear. Uh, if you get clipped, <clears throat> these things will give in a heartbeat. So uh, all you're going to need is a, a Phillips screwdriver. Um, there's a Phillips screw here on the top. I'm going to go ahead and loosen that. Right. Now, these tend to be in there pretty good. There's a couple of, uh, re uh, pardon me, retaining clips along the back end. You're going to want to kind of give it a little bit of force. You don't want to break it, but it does require a little bit of force to pop it out. There we go. Of course, our uh, wiring harness here on the back. Um, use a small flat blade screwdriver, or you can usually just squeeze it, disconnect it, parking lights off. <clears throat> now, if you were wanting to change the bulb, uh, you can turn um, your uh, socket here counterclockwise, pull it right out, <clears throat> change the bulb out, put it right back in. Um, most of, uh, if you ordered your uh, parking light assembly from gopart.com, most of our parts come with new hardware, new bulbs, uh, so you won't have to do any of that. Uh, you can literally just unplug the old one, plug the new one in, slide the component into place, and you want to make sure that you get it in those grooves that help to kind of hold it in place. Push it in. Tighten the uh, Phillips mounting screw on top here. And then what you want to do is you just want to go in, test it, make sure everything's uh, connected properly, and you're all set.